question, Kalthum's second question, was changing the surname after marriage. And the answer is that the Prophet ﷺ cursed those who change their father's name or they attribute themselves to a lineage other than their lineages. So this is something that is a major sin. Whether there is a dispute among some schools of thought, which I don't really know about, because as a Muslim, I have the Quran and the Sunnah and the various fatwas around always quote this hadith. And if you look at those living in the West or adopting Western cultures and ways of living, you'll be shocked when you see that they are calling for women empowerment and for the liberty of women. While their culture and their traditions mandate that once she gets married, she loses her father's name, her family's name, and she's called after her husband. What more of slavery would you want? In Islam, even if she married the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, she still keeps her own name. So Aisha is known as Aisha, the daughter of Abu Bakr. Hafsa is the daughter of Umar. And nothing in her name indicates that she's married to the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Maybe the title would help when we call her mother of the believers. Other than that, this is totally prohibited and a major sin.